now that you're here, we can light the menorah! Come on! Let's go! We spread the Hanukkah light from left to right. This Hanukkah menorah shines bright, bright, bright. We light eight candles, one for each night. The shamash is a helper candle used to light, light, light. It's Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, the festival of lights. This is Carolyn with Hollywood First Look, and today I am so excited because here I have Josh Dela Cruz from Blues Clues and You. Josh, it's been it's been a while since I've spoken to you, so I'm super excited to see you. Good to see you again too, Kara. You are the first Asian American host of a major children's show. So I would love to know how has these last couple of years, how has being on this show changed your life? It's changed life in so many ways, in so many uh, incredible ways. Uh, I get to work. I've always wanted to work on uh, in film and television, and I've I love the making TV shows. I think it's fascinating. I love seeing how things work, and uh, you know I get to do that half the year. <laughs> I get to be on set and I get to learn from the best people in the business. And, you know, I think that has changed my life. I, I know for certain that I want to stay in this industry any way I can, whether it be in front of the camera or behind the camera. Um, and so that has definitely changed the way that I look at my career as an actor. Um, but honestly, you know, I, I love that I get to work on a show that is there to help kids and during these times help parents i give them a 22 minute break where they know that whatever is on tv is going to be entertaining and is going to help their kid learn and uh, prepare them for the rest of their lives so i'm I, you know i i i'm generally just overall happier <laughs> i would love to know if you are more recognized by your fans or by their parents because i know that my, my daughter's much older now and I ran into DJ Lance Rock from uh, Yo Gabba Gabba. And oh I remember goodness. I was like, I, I was more excited than my two year old at the time. <laughs> uh, I think it's more by their parents. And when, when their parents point out who I am, then then things start going, uh, getting put together. It's either like super shy, super excited, or my favorite one is just straight suspicion. They hit me with the side eye. They're like, do you know who that is? And they'll be like, what are you doing out here? Where's Blue? <laughs> I think that's probably my favorite one. Uh, and every interaction has been so positive. I'm so happy and so grateful for it. Um, I am surprised, however, how many people recognize me in different states, like um, with my mask on. <laughs> the, I'll, be, I'll be standing somewhere and then somebody will be looking at me and then they're like, are you Josh? And I'll be like, yeah. I. Oh. <laughs> so you that's got, cool. I mean, you're very recognizable from here on out, John. <laughs> Long ago, there was only oil to last just for one night. But a miracle made it last for eight whole nights. It's Hanukkah, menorah shines bright, bright, bright. It's Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, the festival of lights. Whoa! <laughs> well, let's talk about this upcoming episode, Blues, Clues, and the Festival of Lights. You know, I grew up Catholic, and I watched this episode, and yeah. I am now very well informed of Hanukkah. Talk to me about this, this episode that's coming. Yeah, you know, it, I remember growing up watching Nickelodeon. That was my first uh, introduction into the world abroad outside of my family circle and outside of school. And that was the first time that I, uh, when I saw the Rugrats Hanukkah special, that was the first time that I had ever really learned about what Hanukkah is and what it means. And uh, I'm so happy that we uh, are being able to celebrate that and introduce a new generation with our show, um, with uh, Blue's Clues festival of lights because not only do we get to spin some dreidel not only do we get to fry up some latkes but we get to sing uh, an incredible original hanukkah song that uh kind of distills and uh uh the holiday into a a wonderful 
fun song that hopefully families and kids will be able to use as a springboard to continue learning and continue asking questions and continuing to celebrate uh, the way people celebrate this time of year and other times of year. And so this is a, a really special one and we get to introduce uh, a couple of new new faces in uh, Blues Clues and You and I'm so excited for everyone to meet them. I have to ask you this because this year was the 25th anniversary of Blues Clues. Yeah. And as for someone, I know that you grew up watching Blues Clues. <laughs> that message from Steve. Oh man. What was your reaction to that message? Because I had a very visceral <laughs> one myself. You know what's so funny is that um, I remember that day vividly. I remember that day because I was sitting in the green room with Donovan Patton because uh, we had a break because um, if we're not needed on set uh, the, with COVID protocols, we're, we're in our holding room. And I remember sitting with him talking and then all of a sudden we hear cheering from the studio and we're like, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> and then that was it. Didn't know he did a message. Didn't didn't know anything until uh, uh, when it premiered, like a few months ago. And I watched it, and I thought, "Wow, what an incredible way to let people know that hey, I still see you." Blues Clues: A Festival of Lights is premiering on November twenty sixth, I believe. So yes. congratulations! It's always good to speak with you. Have you seen my dog Blue? She's looking for you too. Let's begin with the paw print. 